From last few days, I was searching cases for the Raspberry Pi. And I got the variety of cases onto the Amazon's page. Some were for cooling, some were of fiber and some were of transparent acrylic sheet. But I didn't like it because they were too simple. So I thought to build a, a custom case for my Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. To make the cabinet, I chose sunboard and cut it down in the required pieces. I choose the 120mm RGB fans which are from Deepcool. So it's a pack of 3 which contains some screws, a hub, So these are the other items which we require some screws, pins and some L hinges. I took two pieces of sunboard, some screws, fans. And then now we are going to join the fans using the sunboard. So I took the sunboard and placed the screws on it. And now we are going to screw it on the fan. We are going to place the another piece of sunboard on the front side of the fan that so that it holds good. Now I took the L hinges and now we are going to mount the L hinges onto the fans. So took two screws and now mount it onto the fan. After mounting the L hinge onto the fan, so I now took another fan, another fan, some screws, then took a piece of sunboard, and now we are going to place the sun, the sunboard onto the fan. with the help of the screws.
Now I took a switch which I am going to use it as a power button for the Raspberry Pi and the whole CPU. And started making a slot in to fix the switch onto the sunboard. But the outcome was not too good. So I replaced it with the touch sensor. And now I'm going to make a touch circuit from which I'm going to use a Arduino, a single channel relay module, some piece of wires, and started making a simple circuit. The link for circuit diagram is in the description box below. You can go and check it out. Now I am going to use the programming cable to program the Arduino and plug it onto my PC. So this is the code for the touch circuit which we had made. Now we need to go in tools, select the board and the common port for the Arduino. In my case I am going to use the Arduino Uno and the common port is 17. Then these are the two pins which will go for the touch sensor and the relay module. So after uploading the code, this let's test how it works. So I've cut down another piece of sunboard for the touch sensor. So these were the outcomes from this to this. So this is the circuit which will power the fans, Raspberry Pi and also the Arduino. So these are the two wires which will go to the relay and these are the wires which will go to the Raspberry Pi and also the fan. Then these, these two power wires positive and negative will go to the Arduino.
So this is how it looks when it is assembled. All the circuits I have placed into this box using the sun board and I have placed the fan onto it. So this fan will work as an exhaust fan and also the cooling system for the circuits. So now we are going to install the LNGs onto the pieces of sunboard to install the acrylic sheet onto the right hand side of the cabinet. So this is the acrylic sheet which we, we are going to install and screw it onto the right hand side on, of the cabinet. So first we are going to install the acrylic sheet onto the sun board and then we will install the other in, air intake fans and the raspberry pi. So now we are going to install the circuits inside the cabinet. So now we are going to install the air intake fans onto the other side of the sunboard. So before mounting the Raspberry Pi onto the sunboard, let's hop onto the PC again and 
flash the OS onto the Raspberry Pi. As we are on our PC, now let's open a favorite browser and we are on our Raspberry Pi's official page. From here, we are going to install the imaging software from which we are going to flash the OS onto the SD card. So click on the software and we'll head on to this page. Then we need to scroll down and we'll get the imaging software link. So it is avail available for Mac, also Ubuntu and Windows. In my case, I have Windows, so I'll download it for Windows. So this is the page from where we are going to download the SD card formatter. The link for this website is also in the description box below. You can go and check it out. This software is available for Mac and Windows. So this is the page from where we are going to install the OS. So I have choose the Twister OS. So as you can see on the screen, this is the interface of the Twister OS and you get many other interfaces. So you need to go in the download section and you will get, this is the OS which we require. So it's for Raspberry Pi 4. I've already installed it in Raspberry Pi 3 and it works fine. So we need to download this. Now I'm gonna open the Raspberry Pi imaging software and from here I'm gonna choose the storage. So I've used a 32 GB SD card for the OS and yeah from this directly you can download the Raspberry OS online and flash it onto the SD card. Now scroll down and click on use custom and select the folder where you have downloaded the image file then you need to click on write the same process will also go for the raspberry os as well then it's take it takes a, a little time to write on the sd card so we'll skip it now so now let's start mounting the raspberry pi onto the sunboard so before mounting the Raspberry Pi, we'll just apply the therm thermal paste onto the Raspberry Pi's processor and put place a heatsink on it. Now we are going to insert the SD card onto the Raspberry Pi.
now we are going to mount the mini 12 volt fan onto the heat sink So I'm going to use this grill in front of the cabinet. So finally the work of the cabinet has been done. Now let's do the setup. For that you need the basic requirements of the computer. A keyboard, a monitor and a mouse. I'm going to use this VGA to HDMI converter because my monitor doesn't support HDMI. Finally I have set up everything and I have connected the mouse keyboard to the Raspberry Pi and also I used a mini speaker for the audio output and yeah so let's boot it up. So it takes a little bit time to boot up. Now as you can see on the screen it shows Mr. OS. So as you can see this is the screen when you get uh, when you boot it for the first time. Yeah. On the right hand side of the screen you get the system performance where it shows so now you need to click on next so this is the raspberry pi configuration you need to click on next next and you are ready to go then you need to click on finish then you are ready to use your raspberry pi pc there are many things available like Chrome, Trash, RetroPie, the Twister themes, then you even get the Discord onto the Raspberry Pi PC and you also get the Steam and My Android. Then on the over taskbar you get the Bluetooth menu, audio and also you can select the network
In the top right hand side corner, you get the power button where you can shut down the Raspberry Pi PC. And there are the various modes. Now we are going to change the theme. So this is the way the magic happens of the Twister OS. Yeah, now to change the theme, you need to click on Theme Twister. So now for the different themes, we are going to click on the Theme Twister and click on Next. You will get the various interfaces. The one which is here, as you can see on the screen. The second one is Twister 95. Then next you get the Twister XP, which is the Windows XP interface. Then you also get the Twister 7 which is for Windows 7 interface and also you get the Windows 10 interface. So all, all are available in light and dark theme. And the two nice things are here you also get two uh, interfaces of iMac. Yeah, you get the two interfaces of Mac OS which are also available in the dark theme and also in the light theme. So now let's check out how the various themes look like. Selected the Twister 10 theme because Windows 7 and Windows XP are normal to see. So let's see how the Windows 10 interface look on to the Raspberry Pi. When you click on that you get a terminal interface where you need to click on enter then it asks and it reboots the Ras Raspberry Pi. So now the Raspberry Pi is rebooting. So as you can see, this is the interface of the Windows 10 onto the Twister OS. So it's very, very similar to the previous interface of the Twister OS. Only thing, the background and the taskbar has changed as a Windows 10 and other things. So now I'm going to choose the iTwister theme, also a cool theme of iMac. Now it is telling to press enter, so I've hit the enter button and now it will reboot the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, this is the I'm I Twister interface as you can see on the screen. Also the similar only the top and the lower taskbar has been changed. Like an Mac OS and also the other interfaces of the Mac OS are the same in this. Hey everyone, in this video I have shown you how I made my custom case for the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. This video is a little bit longer because I have explained from starting till the end and also I have shown you how to install the software into the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, 
So if you like this video, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and do not hit the bell icon to all. And also to follow me on Instagram to get the latest updates of my new projects. So meet you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and bye bye.